So let's review what all we've talked about. What all can I use the amp clamp for? Can I use it to check starter draw? Can I use it to check live alternator output? Yes. Um, what about the digital battery tester? Checks the charge level of the battery. Checks the impedance of the battery. <clears throat> what about this tool right here? <clears throat> Can I do a load test? Load test. Yeah. Start and draw. Charging out. How do I do a load test? Connect it. Set, the, set it to half the CCA of the battery. Do it for 15 seconds. It should be above 9.6 volts. And the battery needs to be at least 75% charged before I do the test. Right? How do I do a starter draw test? Have it connected to the battery. Put the amp clamp around the negative battery cable. Disable it from running. Crank the vehicle. See how many amps is coming out of it. The battery. Okay? How do I do a charging output test? Make it start, leave it connected the same way the big leads and the amp clamp have to be around battery cables. Then I start the vehicle, hit the charging output button, throttle the vehicle up to about 1500 RPMs, and wait for the test to run. It freezes the results. For the alternator to pass, it needs to be how much? Within how much percentage of its rating? Within 10%. So to pass the test, it needs to be within 10% of its rating. Okay? What about R2D2 here? <laughs> what all will it do? Will it test Charge. the battery? Yes. Will it charge test it. the starter? Yes. Will it test the alternator? Yes. Will it charge the battery? Yes. yes. And it'll even charge the AGM batteries if you tell it that it's AGM. In reality, you're supposed to use a special charger to charge an AGM battery. If you use a, a, a regular battery charger, it can damage that expensive special battery. So this, this tester here has that ability. The new DTAC machine that I have has that ability. If you don't have a, test, a charger like that, you can charge a AGM battery with a regular charger, but just do it at a very slow rate. Do it at a trickle charge. A trickle charge is, you know, two or three amps, very low set, that won't hurt an AGM battery. Okay? And then why is it important to check the voltage drops on my battery cables? Just make sure you're not losing. Drain the battery. Well, it, it may not drain the battery, but the, those cables, they're big, and they need to be shiny, but if they're not big enough, then they can't do their job, can they? Let's say somebody's put a cable on here and it's the wrong size. Could that cause it not to get enough current through it? Yes. Sure. How would I realize that? It won't crank right, will it? No. But the only way to really find that is to do a voltage drop test on it while it's doing its job. That's the best way to check wires is to do voltage drop on each end of the wire while they're doing their job. If, if we don't have very sizable voltage drop, then that wire is okay. We can forget about it and go to something else. If we've got excessive voltage drop, we need to concentrate right there and see what's causing that to happen. So that machine it can check multiple batteries at once? It can. It, it can check. When I went into the battery test, it tested, it, it asked me, does it want to do it in vehicle or out of vehicle? I said in vehicle. When you, when you tell it that, it'll say, you know, multiple batteries or not. And it has that capability, but in reality, if I'm working on a set of batteries, I want to test them individually because I mean, it's, it's, they're all connected and you have one weak link in there. It might pass and you have one weak link. Okay? And that's, that brings up a subject. You guys that are diesel, when you've got vehicles that have multiple batteries, you know, we want to make sure everybody's pulling their weight. If I get one guy that's not pulling their weight, then that's going to cause stress on those other batteries. So that being said, it's a good idea if you're working for a fleet or for a government entity, if you have one battery go bad, it's a good idea to take that whole set out and put a new set in rather than just replacing one battery. Now, some fleets may not go for that because it's expensive, but that's, that's if you want a, a best case scenario, that's the way to do it. 